Right, how to make a small video of how to winter charge Mobot. Winter charge is just putting a charge into it without it actually doing anything. Now it's come up no carrier, that's because the loop that it goes in in the garden is not there. Now, when you do that, you see the contact has gone underneath and made contact with the clips there. Now, uh, that one's a bit faulty, but I'll explain that more in more detail. All right, now. That drops over there like that very crudely. I've just dropped it on. And this here is actually the body of the robot. Now, Let me pull it out again. Turn it off, although I don't have to. Pull it out. It's okay to pull it out and turn the wheels slowly, but don't pull it out and turn the wheels too fast because it generates stray currents in the motors that can damage the electronics. Um, now up there is a slidey bearing thing that moves about. And there are two movable switches, and I've just fixed that one. Now there's a conductor wire inside the switch which connects to that. Now obviously because this one got broken, the conductor, I've run the conductor wire separately. But what happens is this. You unscrew that. You unscrew that. And sadly, one of these stupid things actually fell off the robot, so I had to improvise a contact for there. So, uh, what you do now, before I put the lid on, you might recognize two tea light candle holders that's because there's a bearing in there which used to get full of crud, and so I'll put those over to keep the dirt out. There, there I'm gonna put the lid on one-handed and you see the contacts come through there and again you have to fiddle about to get that lined up there there's the hole now the shallow bolt goes in there sorry about the rubbish camera work I'm trying to do too many things at once yeah that's on there then you line this up that goes on there I need to improvise something for there, but essentially what happens when the lawnmower runs into something, it moves the whole case backwards and that operates either of those two switches under there. So let's take it off again. Sorry about the rubbish camera work. So when you when putting it together, I'm going to post the lid off because if it gets thrown around on the post, the lid will move around and break these arms. So basically, that'll have to go under the bolt and then whatever I find to put on top, we put the lid on and then whatever I find to put on top will go on top to make the contact. So that when the lawnmower decides to plug itself in, which it will do automatically, you... Sorry, I'm trying to do it one-handed. As the lawnmower runs into the machine, the contacts on there run under those and uh, again you might have to bend them about a bit to get a good contact. Um, yeah, once set they show you alright. Runs it like that, once it makes contact it detects the power and shuts down. If you want to do a winter charge, you uh, do a winter charge, I need to put that contact back on. If you want to do a winter charge, you don't turn it on while it's plugged in because when it charges up it'll go out looking for some grass you turn it on first wait for it to come up no carrier because there's no uh, loop and in fact I had a switch on the loop I could turn it off comes up no carrier then you slide it in underneath they, they make contact this one won't make contact because I've broken it So I've held it for now, I've just held the lead on with a clip. 
It's now coming uh, winter charge and uh, giving the battery voltage. So now I've just realised I've got to show you something. Turn it off. Let me turn it up on its side. There's the blade, which I converted to swingy plastic blades. In fact, they need changing. They're a bit blunt. But actually, leave the blunt ones on there, because as you're setting the lawnmower up, you don't want it banging into things with a sharp, bl sharp blade. Now, see there? There is a bolt there. You see that? It comes tight, and then you back it off, it loosens. That loosens a clamp, which allows this whole motor to go in or out. And that sets your cutting height. And again, because you're new to this, I would set the blades at uh, maximum cutting height, give it less chance of banging into things. And in fact, there is a way of getting it to cut the garden without having the loop installed. And uh, oh, let me go through this. Turn it on. Oh, it's had a. Oh, it's had a checksum area. Sometimes it does that. It just comes up checksum area. You have to turn it off and restart it. So, go through the options. You put it on pause there. Then you press that button. Language, date. You can set the date, time. You can set the time. You can set the week. That's, that's the cutting programs. Work schedule. You can tell it when to come out and do stuff and when to go back and charge up. Although if it runs out of battery, it'll charge itself up anyway. It can even do two areas, and that's quite difficult to, to explain. Uh, border, yes. It's come up border, yes. Now, oh. No. It's now saying border, no. If I just carry on a bit, there's a rain sensor which you can turn off. That's that thing, which is a little bit bent, but just needs one there straightening out. Change password, no, it doesn't have a password. Gone back to pause. And now press that it's now oh, I'm a bit lost here there off pause sorry I need to press that again start I'm now holding it off the floor but as you can hear it has started up and is now running now I'm going to pretend it's crashed into something by pressing this switch see what happens it backs up it rotates and then off it goes again. Save with this switch. If I hit that switch, look what happens. It backs up, turns around and then off it goes again. If I hit that switch, you can see it back up and go around again. Now, I've pressed the minus sign and what that has done is that he's turned off the blades. I'll stop shouting now. What that means is that because I've turned off the blades, it'll behave as if it's cutting. You see there it goes. You see I hit the, the switch and it goes away. And I hit the switch again, it backs up. Now what it's doing is it's mowing the grass but with the blades turned off. And the reason why I'm telling you this is when you're setting it up, that's the, the ideal mode to have it in. You don't want it blundering around with the blades running. Now I'll try and find the instructions, but if I can't, this video will help, hopefully will uh, give you an indication of how to do things. Uh, pause. There, I'll put it on pause. And uh, so you've got those two switches there. And you can turn it off. And I was running it in border, no border mode, which means it can mow outside its area. Normally it operates within a perimeter wire. And uh, if you're running it outside the perimeter wire, the manufacturer re uh, recommend you want it to change direction. You can uh, put a broom in front of it, it crashes into it. If you press that little button there, it'll go round in circles, going ever larger circles, until it bumps into something. And I think that's all I can think of, and I'm about to run out of video. So I've been filming for 10 minutes and uh, yeah the camera's going to time at any moment now. So there you have it. 
one really rather nicely made